Hello everyone, my name is Gofi. I am from Inner Mongolia University, China. This title is a sleep scheduling algorithm with limited energy collection in energy harvesting wireless sensor networks. It consists of five parts, research background, related work, proposed algorithm, simulation, and conclusion. At first, the third background of our wireless sensor networks is introduced. The biggest problem faced by wireless sensor networks is energy limitation because the sensor nodes using dry battery power supply will not only pollute the environment but also the cost of manual battery displacement is higher. In order to break the restriction of this problem, energy collection wireless sensor networks using the surrounding environment to supply energy have been widely studied. However, in ESWSN, when the elimination time is limited or elimination intensity is weak in winter or cloudy days. The energy that nodes can collect is also limited, resulting in the cooperating reducing of network running time. Therefore, it is necessary to make rational use of the collect energy and prolong the network lifetime. Let's first introduce the exciting methods to prolong the network lifetime. There are three kinds of sleep scheduling algorithms for wireless sensor networks. The first is the sleep scheduling algorithm based on distance clustering. In which nodes sleep or work through clustering. The second is a sleep scheduling algorithm based on network coverage, which determines whether the nodes are redundant by calculating the coverage of the nodes and sleeps the redundant nodes. The third type is a sleep scheduling algorithm based on network connectivity. The kind of algorithm does the node sleep based on the network connectivity and sleeps the redundant nodes without disturbing the network connectivity. VSTC algorithm is a sleep scheduling algorithm based on network coverage. It first divides the session area of nodes just and calculates the coverage rate of nodes through the coverage of other nodes. If other nodes can completely cover the session area of the node, the node is considered as a redundant node. GAF is a sleep scheduling algorithm based on network connectivity. Firstly, the algorithm divides the whole network area into several virtual squares to ensure that two adjacent areas can communicate with each other. It then attributes the sensor nodes to the virtual square according to the location information. Then, by comparison, one node is selected to work in several nodes of its virtual grid and other nodes in the grid sleep.
to solve above problems. This paper proposed a virtual grid with sleep scheduling algorithm in the state of limited energy collection to make reasonable use of the collector energy and the prolong the network lifetime. The algorithm is mainly divided into parts. Sleep condition judgment and the node scheduling. In this algorithm, nodes run in runs. As shown in the figure, each round includes several stages. Neighbor discovery, coverage, redundancy judgment. Neighbor node information, interaction, and node sleep. Before describing the schedule mode of nodes in a complete round, let's introduce the judgment of node sleep conditions. First, we need to divide the whole network monitoring area into small square, as shown in the left figure. Secondly, the sensor node for the cuts, the discovery message to the neighbor node. If other nodes receive the neighbor discovery message set by the sensor node, they send data packets to respond to the node. The node determines the location and the status of the neighbor node according to the data packets received by other nodes. Finally, the coverage redundancy of nodes is judged to determine the ritual that the session range of nodes is covered by other sensor nodes. As shown in the red figure, node I determines the number of small squares contained in its sensing area calculates the number of small squares. R determines the square area set QRI monitored by target node I. Then sends the number of small squares contained in other sensor nodes and compare and determine the sent QRNEII of small squares covered by other sensor nodes. Finally, the coverage value of the area monitored by sensor I is obtained by the ratio of a number of elements of the QRNEII to set QRI. When the coverage rate of node I is greater than or equal to 68. It is considered that a node I is in the redundant state, and the node I meets the conditions for entering the sleep state. Next, the scheduling mode of nodes. In a round is introduced if the node that results the sleep condition directly enters the sleep state after judging the coverage. The network may have a monetary blind area due to insufficient coverage, as shown in the left figure, node A and node B, reach the sleep state at the same time. If both nodes A and B sleep, there will be no nodes to collect data in the part of node A originally carried by node B. And this area will become a blind area of the monetary range, which will kill unnecessary loss. So, in order to avoid the generation of network monetary blind area, nodes should 
interact with the number nodes. Whether to sleep or not before sleeping. Therefore, we need to judge the whether the node can sleep after the information exchange of sleep priority comparison between a node that meets the sleep conditions and the neighborhood. Node A that researches the sleep condition will send a request message to its neighbor node. The SREQ message includes the PI value of node A. The neighbor node of node A determines its status after receiving the request message sent by node A. If the neighbor node of node A also searches the sleep condition, node B compares the PI value of node A with its own PI value. If the PI value of node B is greater than node A, node B sends a confirmation message to node A, and node A sleeps. Otherwise, node B sends a reject message to node A, and node A doesn't sleep. If the neighbor node of node A doesn't search the sleep condition, it directly sends a confirmation message to node A and enters the sleep state. The following is a pseudo code for run node scheduling. All simulation experiments and experimental comparison results in this paper are carried out and obtained by Uren MATLAB 2016 under Windows 7 operating system. The left table so the simulation parameter settings. The communication distance of the node is 10 meters. After the node enters the sleep state, the sleep time is set to 15 seconds. The left figure so the comparison of a point swivel width. We can see that the node swivel rates of SGLE clock region are higher than model rates VLS GCA and GAF at the same time and under the same conditions. The right figure shows the comparison of network coverage. The network coverage of SGLE log reader is a higher other three algorithms because SGLE algorithm have few dominant nodes and its network coverage which is relatively large. The figure shows the comparison of a working node ratio with the operation of the network. The working node of a SGLE algorithm is lower than that of the other three algorithms. This is because the SGLE algorithm set a more reasonable node sleep scheduling mode. And the nodes can achieve energy load balance. Finally, we summarize the algorithm of this paper and the future work. The algorithm mainly includes two parts. First, the judgment carrier of a redundant nodes. Second, sensor nodes interact with neighbor nodes before hibernation. Simulation results show that SGLE log reader has significantly improved node swivel rate, node mortality, network coverage, and 
working node ritual. This is our future work. If you have any questions, you can contact us by email.